Hello everyone, Kerry Cruff is here, or as you also know me, Kerry the Crafter. Now, um, it's that time of year again, it's December. Um, it's the time when I've looked back through the year and I've judged what worked, what didn't work and move forward. In other words, it's my December update, just to keep you uh, aware of the good, the bad and the ugly that have happened, will happen, possibly happen in the future. Now, is this a coffee with Kerry? Not really, but it is coffee. And I'm Kerry, so, uh, you know, you got it, it's possibly cost me Kerry, but it's not meant to be. It's my yearly update is what I'm going to do. Oh, it's so cold here. Hence, big fluffy Muppet Street sort of fluffy monster sort of. I digress, let's get on with it. Okay, I've got a whole list of goody, goody news for you, goody news for me. Things I want to celebrate, things I want to share with you. Um, just stuff, really. And I would say probably 75 to 80% of the stuff on here is all thanks to you. And I will say to you so many times through this video, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the support, the love, the help, the assistance that you've given me. It's, it's made me more confident. It's made me more creative. It's made me cope with my anxiety a little better. Um, and I wouldn't be here without you. And, and that's that's from the heart, guys. That is the way I feel about it. So let's just move on because I don't want to spend the whole time doing that. Anyone who's expecting a project or a tutorial or something in this video, ain't gonna happen. This is just me talking. I don't know for how long it's gonna be. If it's not your style of video, please, thank you and move on. And maybe enjoy one of my other videos where I'm sharing something with you. So first of all, a couple, not a couple, quite a few successes this year. I mean, when you're working 24-7, doing something you're passionate about, that you love, that you're part of a community, you don't realise what you've actually achieved in one year unless you stop and actually look backwards. And I'm a great believer in I always analyse the year that's going out to work out what the year coming in should be for me. I'm not one of these people is sentimental about things. If if something's not working, it needs to go. I'm in business. And business means I need to try and be forward thinking. I try to be ahead of the trend, if not with the trend. Um, I'd like to start a few trends. That'd be a nice thing, wouldn't it? I mean, if anyone could get any of my videos to go very viral, viral, speaking would also be a good goal for 2024. Anyway, digress. Right, first of all, YouTube channel. You're here watching me, and thanks to you, I'm going to run some figures by you, which for me, when I started doing the analytics of it, I was pretty mind-blown by these. Okay. In 2023, I learned, launched 128 videos. Now, when you reckon the majority of those are an hour long at least, that's a heck of a lot of work. Um... And I'm really pleased we've rectified, hopefully, with the aid of these things, um, the sound quality. Um, picture quality, I struggled a little bit, but now that I've got a new iPad, my videos no longer freeze. Knock on wood, they don't freeze. Um, they don't freeze. Um, picture quality is better. Very, very happy with it. 128 videos launched. Sorry, I have to read. I can't, I can't remember all this lot. Um, I had, in 2023, 13 and a half thousand new subscribers. Oh my gosh, where the heck did you all come from? Where have you all been hiding for 14 years is what I really want to know. But thank you. And I try when I answer the comments, if I see you're a new sub or a new subscriber, I always try and welcome you to my channel. But if I've missed you, you know my ongoing struggle keeping up with co uh, comments. I apologize. You are more than welcome and I love you all and thank you for being here. Um, my videos have actually in the last year had 1.3 million views. I can't even write that. I don't even know where the commons and the dots go. Um, 104,500 likes. Those are the thumbsy upsies, I think. Thank you very much. Um, comments, this explains why I've been swamped with comments, which I love, but why I've, I've been overwhelmed and trying to keep up. I've. As far as I know, they're back under control now. Since I started doing um, a little heart, a smiley face, or a thumbs up, 
instead of writing a whole load of words. I still very much will answer any questions. I will acknowledge anything that you've said um, in, in, a, in an emoji or whatever the word for those things are. Um, I will always answer a comment with either a link to a video that explains or I'll give you a, a longer video, a longer message from myself or I will make note of what you've asked for and try and plan a future video to answer that question because if you're thinking of it, those of others thinking of it. Anyway, number of comments, 12,800 comments says here. No wonder I couldn't keep up, good grief. Um, and then we had 8,671 shares. Wow, thank you, I just thank you. Feels like a board meeting. Does anyone else think they're in a board meeting? Let's move on to something else. Okay. Um, in 2023, my target of video launches per week was three per week. Um, I've now added extra things into my work stream. I was struggling a bit to keep up with three videos a week because that's a lot of prep time, prepping of stages, editing, because I edit all my videos. So I have decided, and actually I started doing this from October, October or November this year, I've now dropped back to two videos a week because in my mind I would rather put out less videos at a higher quality of content and and watchability than I would actually um, putting out more videos at something I'm not happy at. Now, saying that, besides those two per week, in a month there will be a coffee with Kerry that's continuing on. Um, there might also be other little things drop in, say I become part of a collaboration. Things will pop up, but my target is two a week. And as you, as I go down this list, you, you'll understand why. And for those of you who are not aware of it, um, this year my Coffee with Kerry is actually a podcast as well. Because you two put that facility out there. So now when I list it as a video, I can actually list it as a podcast as well. So if you were someone to listen on YouTube... YouTube iPlayer or whatever it's called. Um, you wouldn't see the pictures, but you definitely hear the conversation I'm having with you. So that's just a new one. That was something new for me. I was brave. I pressed the button, guys. I pressed the button. Um, also, this year, I launched a blog page on my website. Um, a very, very long time coming. Lots and lots of you asked for it. I intend doing a blog per month. I know that doesn't seem a lot. That's a 12 a year. But a blog can take me easily a week to prepare for, to write up, to get the right photographs, to write it, then reread it and edit it and research it and links. Because I don't always know 100% the topic I'm talking on. So I will sit down, I will read a book, I will read links, I will go through the internet, I will find other YouTube channels that maybe have touched on it. So I don't look a fool. And also I want to put into those... Um, blogs information that you will find useful um, so there you go that's it and thank you to everyone who downloaded the free 100 per perpetual prompts for collage you seem to be enjoying them I'm enjoying them although they're not videos for me I know there are, are a few of you using the video it was just a resource a thank you to say basically thanks for hanging in with me and we got past the 70,000 subscriber mark I'm I want to say I'm heading towards 73,000 at the moment. So thank you. Right. Um, this year I actually launched 52 new designs with Pierre Marty Studio. Um, those designs are in foam stamps and stencils and masks. I haven't included in that figure the variation on sizes so that's that was quite a goal I wanted to launch a product a month with them obviously I launched the, or more than that throughout the year but when you design a product like um, let's see what can I say I recently actually I think it was October I I launched a video called tribal tendencies and when I was creating that product it became obvious to me there were other products that could come off that product and I made tribal wallpapers so I made the original and then I made three different styles of wallpaper using elements and to be honest with you I could have gone one step further and done foam stamps of all the designs as well because I would have used them um, but I don't know I'm not that's something that's on the back burner I'm not sure whether I'll do that because there are already stencils out there but if enough people want them I know Mariah and myself will have a talk about it and we think 
it's something that would be useful to the creative community, then then by all means we'll do it. Um, uh, something if you're in the artistic world and not the cake world, you may not be aware of. Uh, about six years ago, I launched a product range of silicone molds for the food industry, which were called the Creative Cake System. And they were basically piped borders. If you're in America, you probably call it frosting. Here in Britain, we call it buttercream or we call it raw icing. And I made this whole lo load of uh, molds for that, that um, community of cake decorators out there, both professional and pastry chef and that. Uh, we launched them in Las Vegas. We launched them in um, Hong Kong. Uh, I won, won awards for some of the designs. It, it, was, it was an absolutely brilliant product. Um, and then trends tended to taper off, so we faded quite a few of them out. But within the last 12 months, the trend in piped borders has shot up again. So, so we relaunched the best of the group, like the ones that were always proving really popular. We relaunched those, so very happy about that. Um, also, where have I put it? I bought it out for you. Um, several years ago, I wrote this book. Now, I designed this. I piped it. I photographed it, I wrote it, I put it all together in my bedroom and I self-published this as two books. Um, and then when we, I'd sold from my bedroom a few thousand of them, I took it to a publishing company called KTC Designs and we discussed amalgamating into one book and putting into it the stuff I couldn't do. So then this was launched ooh, a fair few years ago now. And we've come to the end of the printed stock of this now. So I don't ask me how many thousands we've sold. I have no idea. It's a resource for cake decorators and designers out there. And I, I said to Katie Sue, I said, listen, I don't really want this to disappear because it is a phenomenal resource. So I decided that we are now launching it as a digital. So in November, this is now a digital download book. So... Um, if I remember, there'll be a link to it in the description box below, but just as an idea, let's see if I can do it this way. Basically, oh, there's me, ha ha, me as a chef. Um, so it's step-by-step -step guides to all of the borders that I was using in the cakes. Plus there's big, glossy, inspirational pictures of some of the cakes I created, um, all the way up to, let's find you some more elaborate, to like historical type, cakes that there it was a fun project absolutely loved it there you go there's another one of my creations so anyway so this is now digital download so that was launched this year as well wonderful i love the fact that uh when when i do eventually shuttle off this mortal coil i will have left something um on the planet and to top it all about about four years ago might say either four or five years ago i can't remember I actually won a literary award for that very book in New York. So who knew you can create something in your bedroom and all of a sudden it, it wins you an award several years later. I was very happy and I'm very proud of that book. Um, okay, one of the not so successful things, let me have a cup of coffee. A gulp of coffee, sorry, has been my Etsy store. Yet another year has gone past and I just haven't got any new products in it. There's boxes of them around me ready to go. All they need doing is finishing or scanning or editing. But to put an Etsy product together and put it up onto Etsy, the platform for sale, I only ever sell digital downloads, um, can take days, if not weeks. I mean, even if all I did was take something, scan it and then upload it, that's probably a day because I have to scan it. I then have to make sure it's printable in the right quality. It then needs to be a thumbnail version of the original of each of them. And I only do five pages at a time as digital downloads. And they're very popular. And I try to create thinking of the person, people who are going to use them. So, um, yeah, um, hopefully this year as I'm pulling back and only doing two main videos, although when you hear the rest of the stuff I'm doing, it may not happen. Um, I'm going to try and do them. I've got more Etsy products to go on that. I just, I need another me. So I need another me I can trust. Uh, some of you have asked me, um, will I go to Kofi? Kofi, 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 something like that. Uh, no, I'm either staying with um, Etsy or I'm pulling out of Etsy. I intend staying with Etsy. 
um, PM Artist Studio did very kindly reach out and say that they could house my digital products on their website and handle all that for me should I wish to. Um, the thought of trying to transfer all of that from my Etsy to there is another minefield. I, I, I'm a bit, bit technically challenged and the fact that I've achieved what I've achieved is a flipping nightmare. Night, it's a wonder. It'll be a nightmare for me to try and rejig it all. But it's something, it isn't a definite no that I'll move all my digital products somewhere else. But my thinking is, if I move my stuff away from Etsy, everything I've done historically which drives people to Etsy is null and void. So, I don't know. don't know what the solution is. Um, Kofu Ikeri is going into its third year. You've asked for two or three of them a month. Not going to happen. There can only be one coffee we carry a month, unless it's a special event or there's something special going on where I'll jump on and do a special coffee we carry. Um, however, it's just just not enough hours in the day, guys. And also, I like to choose my subject for the following month and then I like to think on it. I like to do my research. I, I, I want to deliver a topic with a completely unbiased view of it, or at least a view that shows both mine and the opposing view of it. Um, so the whole point of Coffee with Kerry is to basically spark a conversation, raise a topic. So if you've seen Coffee with Kerry or you've heard them on the podcast, you know what they are. They are going into the third year. Um, the colour combination um, monthly thing that I do each month with Paula Keen in the Netherlands, which is housed on the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists group, that is also going into its, which year is it? That's going into its second year. Incredibly popular, everyone loves it. You can only really access it via, um, via the brain has just shut down on me, via the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists group on Facebook. What I'm going to try and do in future, however, is I'm going to try and when the announcement goes out at the beginning of the month, I'm going to try and do just a Facebook post on my Facebook page so that anyone else who wants to join in on it, um, independent of Makers Mixed Media Art and Artists Group, there will be um, the colours that we're doing for that month, just in case. But I would say, if you are someone who's artistic and wants to do it, go across to Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Group on Facebook and join the group. They're a wonderful, creative, supportive group of like-minded people. Um, I'll put the link to that down below as well. To get in, you've either got to answer two or three questions. Believe me, they're really numpty. You, there's no problem there. You're not going to get social security number, bank balance. It's literally three really simple questions. You, you be. It's a wonderful area. It's love, and they do things like they do swaps, they do collaborations, they do. Um, collage prompts they do the color combo they they have um a theme for each month for you to create around so it's lots of good stuff going on over there um okay something else i did this year i shut down my instagram account now i had an instagram account for years and it doesn't really work for me um so i shut it down then about a year ago, lots of my followers and subscribers and friends on social media said, Kerry, can you please reopen it? We love looking at your images. We, we find it easier to navigate the images on Instagram than we do on Facebook. Fair comment. I'm the same. I can never find anything, even in my own accounts. Um, so I started it back up again. Um, luckily enough, it hadn't disappeared totally. I thought it had, but I, I reinvigorated it. Um, but I've closed it down again. I, I'm constantly forgetting to go to it. I very rarely post to it. And I think if you're someone who wants to see images, then I have, I can't even tell you how many Pinterest boards I have. And everything I create, like even my videos, there'll always be a link and an image put in my Pinterest. So I would say, follow me on Pinterest if you want to see my images not Instagram, because I, I really struggle and I, I don't get the concept of Instagram. It's like it's like TikTok. I have no idea even what TikTok's about. And apparently there's other new new social media stuff out there now. And I'm like, sorry, guys, I'm 
I'm struggling to keep up with what I'm keeping. I'm not adding another social media stream. Uh, no, 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 what's next? Uh, more project type videos are planned. Um, now what I'm planning to do, and I'm actually working on one at the moment, for those of you who are asking, yeah, the mask is being worked on. Here it is so far. It's got its white gesso and its clear gesso on. I'm getting ready to actually do the colored bit, the pretty bit now. Um, that, that project is going to be either four or five videos long. So in 2024, I'm going to try and do a few longer projects spanning over a number of videos. Um, however, I promise you, I will always launch all of the videos at the same time because I don't know about you, but I find it very frustrating when I see someone start a project and then I have to either wait a week or a month for the next one. By the next day, I've already forgotten about it. So I will always launch all of the videos in a series in one go. And also in the description, there will always be a link to the other ones in that series. So the mask is the first of them. Um, there are quite a few more planned. Uh, it gives me a chance to do more meatier projects than just quick one hour projects. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. Why have I nose itching? Um, so just note that's on the books to do as well. Um, I started a watercolour journal this year. Very happy with it. I've done a few projects with you. Um, I also did a product review on the Mei Lang, Mei Ling, Mei Lang watercolour box. Liked what I did. There was a project attached to that. There will be more. Um, it's just I need to work out which videos are going to go into which month is what I'm looking for. But yes, I'm really enjoying my watercolour journey. I haven't got to the point where I'm, I'm getting that delicate look that I really want. But I am finding another look that I like. So more of that coming. Um, also my doodle journal where I've learning to doodle. I've been prodding it with a stick basically. Uh, I've, I've been trying to learn Zentangle techniques to get my hand into moving in a way that is conducive with doodling. Um, also, trying to get into my brain that it's okay if it's not perfect. And we know I'm a perfect perfectionist and I'm parking the perfection. I'm trying to just strive for excellent. But if I can't draw a perfect circle, I'm not going to draw a circle. Um, but I'm working on it. But I've also allowed myself to think along the lines of, if I can't draw a perfect circle, either make it a really imperfect circle or grab something with a circle in it and just draw the circle around the inside. It It's not really about the end result, although it is, but it isn't. It's about the mindfulness of me doodling and sitting calmly, maybe with music on, and just doodling. There will be one or two doodle videos each year when I feel ready to do them. I think I gave myself a bit of too much to do this year when I tried doing a whole 12 by 12 doodle live for the first time on, on YouTube and I'm like, oh my, it wasn't live, I recorded one on YouTube. That sort of knocked me because I got overwhelmed by it. So I'm going to do smaller projects for YouTube things like um, maybe tags or postcards or panels for the fronts of greetings cards or just small page projects. So anyway, that's that one. Um, where's that one gone? I've lost something. Oh, it's on that page, that's fine. Um, I'm going to also do more combination things next year too. Um, so you've heard me mention the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Group. Um, they have the colour combo, they have the collage prompts, they have the theme of the month. And what I was doing is I was doing a video specifically um, using the colour combo as the video that I will put out for makers each month. And as I've been doing that for a year, I've decided that Paola Keen and myself have discussed it. Going forward, Paola is going to be announcing what the colours are. We've already got them listed, guys. They're ready to go uh, because she does a wonderful Facebook post with examples and samples of how to do all the things. Lovely post. Does far better job than I would ever do in, in Facebook. So Paola, each month on the first of every month, is going to announce those um the color combo for that month um however what i'm going to do then is i'm going to take on board um a project of my own for a video that's going to maybe combine the collage prompts with the color combo or maybe it'll combine 
the monthly theme with something I'm doing myself. So just to give me a bit more creative freedom, um, which makes it more enjoyable for me and hopefully makes it more enjoyable for you. Those could also spark the video series projects that I do as well. So it could be that it's more than one video in the future when I do those for a month because some of them can be really meaty projects. I'm very happy about that. Um, earlier in the year, I started doing shorts for YouTube and I literally would pick up my camera and scan over a piece of artwork or if I was out somewhere, I, I know one that's really popular is I had a, a whole flock of swans decide to not attack me, but come incredibly close to me and decide to, to ask who I was. That was very popular. And there was another one I did where I was by the ocean and I just photographed the waves crashing on the shore for about a minute and everyone loved that one as well. Um, not my most creative thing. However, I do think I'm going to try and focus a little bit more on doing shorts um, as far as tips and techniques. So maybe it'll be me just for 30, uh, for 59 seconds going, OK, guys, if you haven't got a corner rounder, this is another thing you can do instead. Or if you haven't got um, an envelope maker, try this. Just And I think it's going to be a good vehicle now that I've thought it through a little more of how to do um, a short and share with you. Instead of my top 10 techniques, I could make 10 different shorts and then list them as top 10 techniques. That will make sense. It's even confused me at the moment. Ignore me. Um, OK, uh, there's there's tuba there. Um, is there another one? There's another one somewhere in this building. Oh, there's one over there. It's out of shot. Um, you have asked so many times for me to show how I make my fairy houses. I have tried long and hard working out how to film making my fairy houses. It's not going to happen. Um, a fairy house can take me weeks, if not months, to complete. The nightmare of all of the different camera angles and the added pressure of me trying to make sure everything is well lit while I do it. And, and I'd have to make on the spot decisions where sometimes if I hit a creative moment, I'm like, hmm, need to think about that. If the camera's on me, I'll push through and maybe make the wrong decision. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do um, videos on building my fairy houses, although there's a little bit of a caveat on that. I might try and do things like um, I saw someone take a really inexpensive little birdhouse that they, they bought at Hobbycraft or Hobby Lobby or Michaels and they decorated it up as a little tiny house. Um, that sort of thing might work um, or I might think about sharing how I create windows or doors or stuff like that. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that one. So um, the jury's out, but I'm almost certain we're not going to have full blown landscaped interior lit fairy castles and fairy houses and toadstool mansions. I just can't do it. It is absolutely it's, I would go crazy. Anyway, right, I want the second page and we're almost done with this page. OK, uh, this year I want to be more open to more collaborations. So if anyone out there in the creative world uh, wants to collaborate on something, by all means, reach out. I will always answer a collaboration question. I've got one at the moment. Um, I can't remember her last name. Her first name is Christy and she's asked me whether I'd collaborate with her and do something using one of her digitals from Etsy. I've looked through her shop. I really like some of her stuff. I'm just being really lax about getting back to you, Christy. I'm sorry. I will get back to you. And yes, we will be doing a video on it. I just... Everything's getting away from me. I mean, where the heck did 2023 go? Seriously. I mean, I'm 64 years old in... Oh my God, it's two weeks time. Two weeks time? Two weeks time? Three weeks time. Ooh, I feel younger already. Um, three weeks time, I'm 64. Where the heck did that life go? Mind you, it's still ongoing though. We're not, we're not checking out just yet. So anyway, collaborations I've done some with, um, oh, I collaborated with Tracy Fox this year. I think I've done two with Rachel Bell Craft. I collaborated on a project with Paula Keane or Paula Keane. I also collaborated on a project with, um, Kylie Coo Studios in Scotland. They're fun. They they push me outside of my creative box and push things to a new new 
new style sometimes and really enjoying those so by all means yes reach out and the worst i can say is sorry can we park this for a while um but yes i'm more open to them i, I want to do more of those they're fun for me and and you seem to really enjoy them as well um i'm going to do more swaps this year as well um, the swaps that I'm going to be doing are going to be the ones that are in Makers of Mixed Media Arts and Artists group only because, because it's a private Facebook group and it's monitored by PM Artist Studio and um, the organiser of the, the event within that Facebook group I can trust totally. Um, I feel okay handing my address out to somebody and swapping with one of the members of that group. Um, I'm a bit paranoid about passing my address out and lots of you keep asking me, Kerry, can we have your address? We'd like to send you some happy mail. Um, I don't I don't send my address out unless it's it's from someone I personally know, or as I said, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Group, purely because I know and trust that whole genre of groups. So I'm gonna be doing swaps with them some people have said, Kerry, would I consider opening up a P.O. box that things could be sent to? I'm looking into it. Um, I think one of my biggest fears is if I open up a P.O. box and let the whole world know, then I'm going to be inundated with stuff and I'm going to end up with loads of stuff that I won't know what to do. And I'll be f too guilty about getting rid of it because I'm like well it's a gift I can't get rid of a gift so I mean yeah hopefully you'll know what I mean I mean I know that Gail Agostinelli had the same problem a couple of years ago she had so much happy mail which is so wonderful because the community is so generous and helpful but what it did was with Gail she got so inundated that then she, she was finding she was struggling with storage, struggling using it, struggling trying to give credit where credit was due, trying to just memorise and catalogue the stuff so that she never used something without giving credit where it's due. And we're both quite passionate about credit where credit's due, or thank yous at least. So um, so let, let's, jury's out at the moment on the P.O. box. I am considering it. I am looking into it. I'm just... Let's just think about that for a bit. OK. Um, I also want to do next year, and I've already talked to Mariah from PM Artist Studio about this because she wants to do one with me. And um, I call them swap and makes. So basically what happens is I make something that's a resource or an element and then I send it to someone and then they complete a project with it. So for examples. Kylie Koo Designs. Um, Kylie Koo actually made the cover and sent it to me and then I made a journal from it. And I loved this, this was great. Kylie and I, I think it was, we made possibly two videos each on, on this and they were great and you loved them. And actually this is now, as you can see in there, this is my watercolor book, which is why I stick the watercolors that I'm happy about. I also did this fantastic journal with Paula Keen in the Netherlands. What happened was she made um, 15 pages for a signature for a journal and I made a cover for a journal. I sent her my cover, she sent me the signature, then I created a cover for my the signature from Paula and the reverse on the other end. And I love this. This isn't going anywhere. I love this journal and it was it was such a joyful thing to do and I'm going to do more stuff. It doesn't always have to be a journal. It could be a collection of something. It could be a project. It could be, I don't know. So watch out for more of those. You seem to enjoy them. I absolutely love doing them. Um, and again, it pushes me outside my safety area. And I think a lot of us find ourselves residing in our own little bubble, our own little cocoon, um, where we do the same thing all the time. We enjoy it, but I feel some of us don't grow enough when we've got potential to grow. And I'm talking about me as well. So I'm finding that these swaps and collaborations and the swap and make things are absolutely wonderful because I'm then presented with a something and I have to go, right, how do I do that? Like, I didn't know what the pages were going to be decorated like until they arrived. And then I had to make a journal cover 
in the style of the signature pages. And likewise, I made a signature of 15 pages to send to Paula, who didn't know what the pages would look like, and she then had to create um, everything for it. So it, it's, it's, it's a nice challenge, and I, I like that. It takes me out of my comfort zone. Right, what, there's a couple of more things to go. Um, some of you have asked me, or not actually commented on, Kerry, why don't you have Amazon affiliated links for the products you use? Um, it's a very valid point, actually. I, I do use a lot of products, and I always try to make sure you guys know exactly what they are. If I can tell you where I got them from, I do. Um, I tend not to post links to products in the description box because I'm really well aware that I'm based in the UK. The majority of you are in other countries. So if I actually put a UK Amazon link into my description box, you try to open it and you're living in America or Australia, it's not going to take you to where I want it to take you. Um, I watched a few videos on the Amazon affiliated link program and I qualify for it. I know I qualify for it, but I've still got to do a bit of digging because I don't quite understand a few things. My understanding is that if I have a product, say I pull up, say I pull up white gesso on Amazon, um, Amazon will then create a unique affiliated link that I can copy and paste anywhere to drive traffic to that project product. Now, I believe, and this is where I need to do a bit more research, that the link will understand where you are in the country, in the world, and adjust the link to match whether you're in Australia, New Zealand, Europe, Canada, America, so that you actually get to see the same product, but via your own Amazon. Um, also, I'm a bit confused because obviously I, it would be an income stream for me. A more income stream is more than welcome for me. Um, whenever you share an affiliated link that's an Amazon link, you get a bit of a kickback if the person buys, I believe, that product or any other product within 30 days of using that link. Now, um, they, don't, they don't get charged for it. That's, that's a gift to us from Amazon for marketing the project, product for them. You don't pay any extra. We just get a little time. It's it's almost a percentage of a percentage of a percentage of a percentage. But you know what? As my mother always said, many a drip makes an ocean. I'm quite happy for lots of drips to be coming in. Um, however, I haven't quite understood yet, because I'm still reading through all of this, how I get paid. Now, with YouTube, it's paid through... I believe it's paid through AdSense into my British bank account, but I don't fully understand how Amazon pays me. Now, Amazon is not just in America, although I, I seem to have heard on one video that I have to then open up an American bank account for the payments to go through the American bank account to my bank account. I'm a bit confused. I will sort it out, and if I do end up doing it, I will make a big announcement, so you all know, because I know you like to support me as much as you can. And if that's a way I can put a tried and trusted product that I believe in in front of you, then I will do. And if I can earn a little money from it, at, not at your expense, I will also be very happy. Um, let's see, what else am I gonna do? Um, I'm toying with the idea next year and I don't know whether to do it as um, a blog. I don't know whether to do it as a YouTube, um, where I basically sit down and talk and share stuff. Um, I don't know. I want to start shining a spotlight on a creator per um, month. Now, it's going to be easier to share if this person has a YouTube channel. But some people don't have YouTube channels, but are still creators and actually have websites instead. So I don't know whether it'll be a talking video where I'm like, OK, I really like blah, 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 um, for this reason whatsoever, and then direct you to there. Or whether I do it as a blog and maybe reach out to that person, that creative influencer and say, listen, do you mind answering, say, 20 questions? 
and it becomes a blog. Uh, I don't know, I'm still struggling. I mean, the perfect scenario would be, uh, before you even put it in the comments, it would be me doing a live asking questions of the other influencer or creator. I'm not doing lives. There's too much technically involved. I'm my, on, on my own here. I've got no one else technical around me. If I was trying to do a live, plus sort out any glitches that were going along, plus answering comments, plus trying to link it in with a feed from another person's YouTube as well, oh my God, overload. Um, but that doesn't mean that won't happen at some point. Maybe someone out there is going to share with me something that will help me achieve that. But know that I'd like to sh shine a spotlight on certain people or any person who comes across my path that is an influencer, has inspired me, or there is some reason why I really want the rest of the world to know about this person. Um, that that's coming. I'm just again, my mind has to mull that one over a bit. Um, just to confirm also that I only have social media as follows. I have a personal f uh, Facebook page, my profile page. I also have a Facebook group, which is called Kerry Griffiths Creative Designs. Can I put those in? The, if I can work out how to put, I checked them might already be in the description box. Okay. Um, so Facebook is that that social link. I also do Pinterest, which I've talked about, which is one that I share images with. I also collect images of things that inspire me and store them on the relevant boards there. There's boards there that are everything from um, fairy houses to architectural stuff to recipes to... Um, cake shows I've been to, to, there's, to art and design, all the links to my website, um, to my YouTubes are there. So that that's quite an interesting one for me to share as well. Um, and those are my only socials, guys. That's that's my only social media. Now, I want to thank a few people for this past year, because without without my subscribers, friends and followers, you you don't know how much that means to someone like myself and i'm sure i'm speaking for lots of us on youtube and other channels and that's biscuit saying thank you as well in the background or it could potentially be the postman um so biscuit i'm trying to talk babes okay thank you um so all my subscribers followers and friends Thank you. I obviously cannot name you because there are literally thousands of them. And I'm hoping that what I'm continuing to do and offer is a big thank you in itself. And there are a few friends out there who I do watch their channels regularly and I love what they do. And I know I'm going to miss somebody. I know I am. So please, if I miss you, I apologise. Um, there's Patricia and Mariah. Izzy and Brad from Pia Marta Studio, they do lives four times a week. Whenever I can join those, I do, and I love them. Thank you very much, Patricia and Mariah, for all of your inspiration and input. Darcy, Darcy Sanders from Misadventures and Mixed Media. Sa Darcy, I love you. You don't realise how much you have freed me up as far as um, Barbara from 49 Dragonflies recently called her a chaotic creator. Darcy is po probably the polar opposite to me in our working methodology. However, seeing the beautiful things Darcy creates in the chaos and havoc that racks around her always amazes me. And it's helping me understand that it's okay not to have all the colour pencils in a line. It's okay to not have the ink pads alphabetized. Um, so thank you, Darcy. You you are really helping helping and inspire me just in the way that you are a genuine junk journaler as well. You truly use things to create junk journals with that I would never use, and and I love I love your designs as well. Um, who else? Paula Keen. Paula doesn't do social media, except she is part of the Facebook group that I've mentioned for makers. That's the only place she will ever post anything. However, she's been a supportive, loving friend. We've collaborated. This is Paula. We've collaborated on projects. She's my partner in crime when it comes to colour combo. Um, 
I see some of the things that Paula creates and I'm like, oh my God, where in your brain did you get that from? She's also a very prolific designer out there um, for PM Artist Studio and I love what you generate, that's fabulous. Um, Julie Torrens, Julie has been there for a long while for me, waving the flag quietly in the corner. Um, love it a bit, it's wonderful. And I'll try, actually I'll try and link I'll try and link these channels for you um, in the description box. As I said, please forgive me if I get it wrong. Um, Julie, it's nice to see you blooming and becoming more creative. I'm loving that. Um, Eddie from Eddie Makes Art, fabulous. Love you. Um, I love the journey you're on. I remember when you first let us know that you were, you bought your first gel press or gel plate, and it's lovely seeing the way that you've begun to grow. Oh God, there are so many of them. Um, Michelle from the Creative Cove, thank you for um, helping me with my watercolours, just watching you as helping me with watercolours. Obviously, Gail Agustinelli, who's been a long-time friend. Love you, sister. Love you. Um, I can't, I'm not going to go into a list of things that Gail, Gail and I get up to, because Gail, you know, I know, we all know, the world knows we share, share lots of creativity. Um, there's just so much, like... Um, Miriam, who's in Israel, uh, her works. Um, oh God, I'm, I know I'm failing miserably at the amount of people I should be thanking. But I think what I'm going to say is all of the designers with PM Artist Studio, thank you so much. You inspire me to be a better artist. Everyone who's in the lives of PM Artist Studio, again, thank you so much. I'm, I always feel welcome there, which is wonderful. The moment I just say, hi guys, instantly the stream is full of, hi Kerry, how are you doing? That's wonderful because it's a family of friends and I love you there. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Fran Baker and Violet um, who do lives, is it twice a week or three times a week? Um, I love their experimentation and their creativity and they're willing to make a mess, rectify a mess and create beauty out of it. And I love both of you for that and I love that. Um, I sound like I'm accepting the Oscar, don't I? That's certainly not what I mean. But anyway, just so you know, there are lots and lots of people out there who inspire me to think outside the box, to come up with content whether it's for blogs or posts or YouTubes, for me to in turn inspire you to explore maybe a new creative avenue for yourself. Sorry, getting thrown in the throat. Oh, <coughs> I don't really talk for this long. Um, so I'm just really proud to be part of a community that is both loving, caring and supportive. And I don't just mean the makers of mixed media art and artist group. I mean anybody out there who has interacted with me in a positive, proactive, creative way. And I know you're probably sick of me saying this, thank you. But you make me the artist I am now. Um, you inspire me to think outside the box, to take risks, to know it's okay to make mistakes. Um, to turn those mistakes around and I just can't thank you enough. So I'm looking forward to 2024. As you can see, there's a whole there's a whole slew full of stuff that I'm planning. I need to go and now make, make something to put on the wall with all of the new stuff so I know what I'm targeting. I've written a lot of these already into my, my weekly planner so that I've sort of designated days on which I'll do them, although I always write them in pencil because that's my memory on paper. Then if I get to that day and I can't do it, I can always erase it and put it on another day. But the fact that all of these ideas are written down means that they're not forgotten. Um, there's quite a few I'm excited to do. I just, I need to work out how to do them. Um, but it's fun. So, um, season's greetings to everyone. Um, I believe by the time you've seen this, Hanukkah has finished, but happy Hanukkah, belatedly. Um, Merry Christmas, 
to everyone who celebrates that. I know there's umpteen different celebrations around the world as far as cultural backgrounds and all of that. I, I don't know them all. I don't pretend to know them all. But whatever you celebrate, um, I wish you the best in it. And for everybody, um, Happy New Year. Um, 2024 is going to be yet another year of growth, I hope, for me. And I hope it's equally as creative and growthful for you. So take care, guys. It's an absolute pleasure to know you. Bye-bye now.